Okay, I should be live. Just waiting to see my own stream going, basically. It still says loading video. Yeah, when that happens, I guess the best idea would be to refresh the entire page. Yeah, there it is. So everybody, welcome to episode 7 of Non-Serious Gaming Live Series. Um, it would be either today or the next stream on Super New Super Mario Brothers U, um, where I will be, uh, the episode in which I will be finishing the entire game, getting 100%. Um, I beat the main game last time, if you guys remember, and... Today I'm basically gonna focus on the secrets, the remaining secrets, but I haven't been able to unlock or complete all of the secrets in each of the worlds, which will be today's task. I don't know, it will be taking an hour, an hour and a half to do this, no. So, let's begin with those uh, affirmation secrets and again, either today or the next stream on this will be completely finished. And we can move on to another game. I didn't want to play another game together with New Super Mario Bros. to you in this series because Mario wasn't too much of a long game. I took the time over a month or so, but for other games that will be undoubtedly longer than this one, I will be combining the streams with other games in order not to make it so uh, repetitive, right? So yeah, the first secret exit is in this level. It's been like... 7 or 8 days since last time I... I played this game, so I might forget certain secrets, but... Actually, I just sh I shouldn't stay or waste time getting things. Yeah, you basically gotta go to pretty much the end of the level, over here. And here you gotta make another jump, so you will see the secret. A little tricky. I think this is one of the most complicated secret exits to get, in my opinion. If not the most. I'll have to see it compared to the others. Hopefully I will be, get I will be getting all of them today. I'm probably next time focus on the um, Superstar Road. This way. Uh, hello, Yogi. I guess I'm pronouncing your name fine. How's it going? Yeah, another detail. The paths of the secret exits are fucking huge. No, why am I playing this again? No, I didn't mean to press the button. What, what secret you want to tell me? Bloopler Secret Lair. The first of the secret levels of the game. Technically. Well, I didn't mean to lose the flowers so soon. Hopefully we'll recover it soon so I can kill everybody. That's not a secret, I already know what's gonna happen if that... ...occurs. Finishing the level with a timer either on 11, 22, 33 allows you to get the um, fireworks. Actually, yeah, apart from the fireworks, the um, fanfare music from Super Mario 1. I mean, it's pretty well known from previous times. And yeah, you get items after that, yeah. At least in this game. 
Oh, should have gone back. I think at the moment I have enough items to deal with the rest of the game. For certain secret levels, I would need a couple of secrets. I mean, a couple of uh, items to deal with those secret levels more easily. Which are clearly not mandatory, but it would be ideal to have as many of them as possible. For example, the PA corn. I think it would be very useful in some levels. But in my original run, I ended up beating the levels normally without using that item. Because when I tried to use it, I lost it. Oh yeah, last coin is over here. Still tricky because of this wind thing. Is that a power-up? Yeah. Totally worth getting, not so the coins. That thing didn't touch me. Probably it did, I don't know. But it beat the level, almost. I already have 99 lives, so I don't have to worry about that. For now. So yeah, that clears pretty much the first world entirely. I told you these paths would be so goddamn long. It's not that I'm good at this game necessarily, the fact that I have 99 lives. I mean, this game is easy enough and generous enough to give you all that, so... It goes beyond my... Potential skills. Actually, yeah. I don't have to unlock all of them, just... Four more secret levels, because I actually took care of the others. The last four worlds. Or three worlds. So let's go to the desert. At least I remember where that one is. That secret exit. Item houses are intact by the looks of it. Another acorn. Not bad at all. I don't think I will ever need... I'm gonna use a star. It's one of the items I use the least. Just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah. Here's the one. Oh. I did not expect that. Another one, okay. Just need to get to the second half. This quickly, I mean. Then I can take my time. Again, another loss that I think didn't happen by not touching the enemy. I don't know. Oh yeah, power up assist in the middle. That wasn't a good idea. So the secret exit is here. You need to be small, or at least duck. If you're bigger. I don't even know how to get up there. I guess they're assuming you would have the uh, squirrel suit in there. Yeah, I guess.
Oh yeah, the secret level of the desert is actually snow area. Hmm, would have been a good idea to have a power up with me. I have okay, this is the area. It's not bad. You basically have to make your jumps quickly and get the big coins quickly, for example, before this guy shoots at the big ice blocks. And, for example, I fucked it up because I needed to get into that pipe. So, I don't know if... Oh, okay, whatever, let's continue on. I'm gonna end up replaying the level again, anyways. Oops, lost it. Oh, I think the second coin is up here. Yeah. What am I doing? Anyway. I was keeping up here because I knew that the third coin would be around. Yeah, pretty easy level actually. I just missed the first coin because I decided to waste time. And I'm playing it again. And this would be a shortcut to the Soda Jungle, I believe? I think so. Yeah, takes you there. Yeah. What am I- No, I have to play this again. And after this, I will reveal the next secret level. After getting the remaining coin, I mean. But I want a power up. This is the pipe in question. I have to get in fast. And it's as easy as grabbing it like this. Just keep going. I'll forget about everything else for now. Oh. That wasn't cool. Oh yeah, the secret levels do not have checkpoints. Except for one, I believe. Fuck it. Okay, so if I get the remaining secret levels, or unlock them all, in 15 more minutes from now, I will probably finish the entire game. That means 3 more levels to unlock from now, in 15 more minutes, I should be able to finish the entire game today. Because doing the entire Superstar World world would be like, it would take like 1 hour, including deaths and all that. Look at that confidence that I have in myself. Yeah, I gotta go to the water area first. Actually, I should get the ex Did I get the exit here? In this world? I think I did. Let me see. Yeah, I got this one. So, which level... In which level I haven't gotten all the coins? close. Another acorn. 
to the lots, which is good. All right, I'm going to the water level. I know I haven't gotten everything in there. Actually, there is a way of finding out. Yeah. Sparkling waters, the one still pending. What else is pending? Ah, the solid jungle. And there is some other. There is a third one, even. I'll find out. Probably it's a regular level, not a secret level in which I haven't gotten everything. But it looks like I got all the coins. Anyway, next is uh, Sparkling Waters. And I have to go to the ghost ship in order to get a secret. Let me check out once more. Yeah, I got the coins in all regular levels, that's for sure. Hey, wait. Ah, there is one in uh, the ghost house. I don't even remember. And he left a pendant. I probably said back in the recording, I will have to check that out later. Like, yeah, I'll do it later, I don't care. And he left a pending and he never completed it. Let me see if I can remember in the first place. I mean, I should be able to. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this one was a little bit tricky, but I was able to figure that out. It's basically where the secret exit was. It is in the recording. I know this by heart at this point. And yeah, this is where it is. I gotta be fast and all that, all that, sorry. If I fail, I will have to redo the entire level. Which didn't take long, did it? No, I wasted one second, fucked it up. There we go. No, didn't fuck it up. Good. Now I gotta press the switch, then get the coin, get the secret exit again. But at least I would complete the remaining task. Gotta go fast here. Like the Hedgehog. Here it is. Yeah, it, it was easy. I don't know why I found it complicated at first. Yeah, probably because I was playing it for the first time. That's all. I'm not taking that just for getting an extra life. I mean, I don't need to get any. Yeah, but I'm done with this world. Which makes everything a lot faster. So now I go to Sparkling Waters, then I gotta get the secret in Soda Jungle, and I will be done. Because I got the secrets in the mountains, the clouds world, and... Finally... In the... In Peach's Castle, the last world of the game. I took care of the quote unquote most difficult secrets in the game. From the last worlds. Yeah, probably I left a pendant because I didn't know where those secrets were. And then I found out on my own run, so I ended up getting them all. Like after I did the initial recording of this. Yeah, the secret exit in here is rather easy to get. Good thing I don't have to worry about the big coins anymore. That was weird. Yeah, the problem here is that you have to wait on the platform to... ...to pick you up, basically. Wow, the sound's going to shit. The famous overflows that happen every now and then. Power up. Go get me, motherfucker. It's 
So I assume the fish was the one that touched me. Not the ghost. There is a power I'm getting that first before going to the secret, which is very easy. You can tell somehow because at some point here you will see a ghost up there. No, that's not the one, it's in the other wall. Right there. Which is a little harder to get. I'm supposed to wall jump there, clearly. I think I need to be big at the very least. And unfortunately, this level doesn't have a checkpoint, so... I will be kind of forced to redo it. Yeah, it's the first time I have actually these issues with this jump. I need to be big at least. Yeah, but I lost the power up. I just lost it. Oh, I can actually get it being small. Gonna make an effort. There we go. Yeah, you can do it anyways. Money! You get to see this passage from the other side. That's a very good clue for you to know where the secret is. This way. By secret I mean the other exit. Yeah, I still have to play the level from this area. Another very long path. <coughs> yeah, need to get some more juice. I run out of it so fast. And I'm supposed to get a glass for the entire stream. And I got rid of the. I mean, I drank it only 20 minutes. Less than that, even. Oh, yeah, this is a weird level. I don't know. I like it, but... It's about leaves. That appear and disappear. Yeah, as long as I keep this power up, I should be fine. Even without it, I should be fine, too. I think the first coin is on this side. Yeah, I already got it. <laughs> I remember my even my first attempt, I ended up getting the three star coins off screen. Being ahead of the camera. If you don't have this power up, you will have to use these balloons. Or one of those balloons at least. To get the star coin at the end. I think it was the very last one. No secrets there. Just checking out. Yeah, that's the one that requires balloons. <laughs> I ended up using one balloon. It wasn't really a real need. Oh, I missed one? How? Oh, it must have been a pipe. I don't know, but this level, as you can tell, is extremely short. <laughs> Way shorter than what I would have expected. Whatever, I'm playing it again. And then, there's only one exit left. Oh yeah, I got an item because of that fireworks thing. But I got exactly what I didn't want. So... And this also takes you to the solar jungle. I oh, know, it takes you to... Clouds. No. Or yes, I don't even know anymore. No, to the mountains, okay. What? 
Seriously, mini mushrooms are not longer necessary. At least from the inventory. So, where is the second coin? The first one is on plain sight. Even if I got it off screen, but you know what I'm trying to say. Whatever, I'm not getting that item anymore. Fuck me. Actually, yes, I can. Oh, yeah! That was identical. <laughs> yeah, the first coin is over there. Okay. Probably. And this could be a mistake that I made. I ignore certain wall that looks suspicious, in, uh, even. Was it this one? Oh no, it's over here. There we go. Yeah, it was behind the, the clouds. I saw a little bit of the platform, so I figured that out. Money! Okay, this should be the end. I'm always trying to be ahead of the camera at all times. Oh yeah. Mario time. So yeah, only one secret level to unlock. <laughs> From Soda Jungle. So, where is that secret? <laughs> That's what I want to remember. Wasn't it on the um, ghost house? No, where am I going? I'm taking another shortcut to a previous world, even. Yeah, I will probably chase this guy whenever I need a P. I have two of them. Hopefully, I will be using them. And. I'm not losing the process because at least there is one level in which I will really need the P acorn. Um, okay, that's a fortress. Wasn't it here? I think so. I don't wanna. Also, there is one coin penned in here. So I believe that's the one. Yeah, this is the one. The one I used to remember. It's the last coin, though, so... Wasn't it here? There are two ghost houses that usually give me gives me a... Trouble. This one, as well as... Oh, yeah. I know where it is. As well as the secret exit. I'm, I'm going the right way. Actually, I don't even need this guy anymore. It's up here. I'm not sure about the coin being around. I think so. The third one, even. Precisely the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Way easier than expected. Well, the third coin and the secret exit, precisely the two things I'm looking for, were connected. So, good. How else is necessary? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and finish the game today. Everything. This took way less than expected. This first part. A bit more than half an hour.
So wait, 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 wait a minute. Did I get all the coins in this? No, of course not, because I have to play this level still. Yeah, I mean, yeah, multiplayer must suck. Yeah, but in this one, it was a little bit of a pain, especially to get the last coin. I do remember that. Yeah, multiplayer. I just can't imagine. By the way, how are you, bank source? How's life? How's women? Actually, that one doesn't go up. Yeah, this level especially sucks when this big bullet bills, invincible bullet bills show up. Life is good. Well, good! <laughs> oh my god, no. Yeah, I should have been faster because I encountered that enemy there. I usually use that suit and do this sort of double jump in me there. When that enemy not, cannot be seen. So yeah, that's fine. Why do they play music when you touch them? At least I'm not gonna run out of lives in this level. <laughs> if that was a, any... an issue at all at some point, I don't know. Okay, this is where I actually have to pay attention for the second coin. Get it quickly. Yeah, that's... That was my plan. Before the enemy could even be seen on the camera, the whole point was to get the second coin. The third one is another issue. Oh my god! Go, 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 go! I don't want money, sorry, none of these moments. So yeah, I need to use one of these guys for this pipe, the red one. Just go down, go, 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 go. No. Next. Did you help? Oh my god! Next! <laughs> ah, there you go. Good thing it took... How many tries? Two? Okay, not bad at all. Yeah, I didn't have so many issues because I play this level enough times to memorize certain parts that could be tricky. So yeah, with this I should be able to get, or I should have gotten all the coins, all the star coins in all the way worlds, the regular worlds. Yeah, all the levels are unlocked now. Second big star. Now what? Oh yeah. So, um, gotta take a pipe. These war pipes, whatever they're supposed to be called. 
Where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'm not gonna catch this guy yet. Okay. Well, I can do the levels in whatever order. So what about starting with the tough ones immediately? Or let's go for the easy ones first in order to assure some progress. Yeah, I guess so. This is the one from the first world. Roller coaster. He's taking his time, at least now. The first two coins are easy, the third one requires some... I don't know if memorization is the word, probably not. Don't worry, that coin is going to move on its own, and there you go. Yeah, you usually lose my power up there. That was very stupid. Well, that would have been very stupid. It's a good thing you can kill the fuzzies with fireballs now. Yeah, you gotta be, like, at the very back of the platform in order to get that coin easily. Money! Alright, that was good. In every sense. But again, this is an easy level. Still dealing with the easy ones. Again, there are two that usually um, are more complicated for me. Especially in regards to getting all the coins. Yeah, rem uh, I mean, this item houses give you um, items from the previous game, even. The penguin suits, as well as piss switch bullshit. And also they give you this kind of helicopter thing. You know, the suits from the previous game on the Wii. This is generally an easy level. There are a couple of tricky jumps. No. Should have been faster than that. Gotta wait here. I fucked it up. Because that goddamn Koopa Troopa, whatever. I'll do it again. These are fast levels, fortunately. Again, there are two or three that are nightmare. You'll have time, don't worry. Bad. I think this is the one. Fucked it up. Yeah, if I was bigger, probably I would have gotten it. I don't know. But again, this level is not hard. That was the last piss switch, the one where I died. Mm. 
No. Oh, almost didn't press it. That was good. This is the last one. Gotta be careful and wait. Chill. Blocks change. And... Done. Actually, it was an easy fast level, of course, as long as you make the right jumps at the right time. So the next one... Ah, oh, the next one. <laughs> the next one, god damn it. Do I have any fire flower? I don't have any, dude. Would have been ideal to have that one. This is the fucking level with this big fish chases you the entire level. Are you need? I mean, I, I ended up beating it without the power-ups. But if you want to make everything easier, you need fire flower to kill all enemies or as many as you can. Including the these urchins. Especially, yeah, you need to kill enemies in order to get coins, the big ones. And if it's possible, kill the big enemy every time you can. Taking the time to do so, it requires three fireballs, three hits. I was done, almost. Also, this is a very short level, but super intense. I'll take the time to kill everybody, including this big guy again. This is one of the toughest parts, when you have to kill... You are forced to make the big fish eat the little ones in order to progress. Dude, if I do this first try, I will be so happy. Okay, this is the ray fish. This is not a good part. Oh my god. Yeah, now I depend on the fish, the big one. To kill enemies. Because the last coin is surrounded by urchins. So do what you have to do, fish. Okay. And you know, if the fish eats you, it's insta kill. Needless to say. No! Okay, I think I'm gonna make it. First try. Wow. Yeah, I usually die a lot of times in this level. It gets me a little frustrated. But I did good. Oh yeah. Mario time. So yeah, the next level is also very problematic. I will try to beat it. With normal acorn. Hammer swing caverns, yeah, these fucking hammer swing things. It's an ice cave with those platforms that move back and forth. I would say this acorn suit is, or, or squirrel suit is mandatory, clearly. Actually, the hammer swing platforms is not even are not even the, the big issue. The big issue is to deal with icicles, the smaller ones. First coin is over here. Here. This one keep respawning. Wow, that was super close. Yeah, this is the first big annoying part. Okay. Yeah, second coin is over here. No, fucked it up. No, have to make that jump better. Actually, it's not that hard. It doesn't look that hard anymore. Okay, I will use a basic power-up. Okay, a regular acorn. I have three of them, so I don't have to be depending on the P ones all the time.
Trust me, if I do this in either this attempt, on the next one even, doesn't matter. I can recover it right away. Um, I would be so happy, trust me. The fish level as well as this one are the most complicated ones in my opinion. You're risky. Jumping beforehand, I mean. What up? <sighs> what I was doing? There we go. Okay. That's that one jump. Still. Still the last part which also can give a little issues. Little problems. Okay. Good. Now comes the last part. I'll ignore this ring. Again, the icicles there. What the fuck? Okay, fucked it up. Yeah, those platforms are also very annoying. That's fine. At least the first part, I almost dominated it. Yeah, it's a little space for the, for, for the platform. Again, that jump was... Stupid. Okay, okay, I'm having less and less pr trouble in the jump. Used to be way worse. Uh oh. I think the P switch will respawn. In case I feel no, I think it doesn't, but you have enough time to do everything. What you need to do. I don't wanna lose this. Definitely don't want to. Okay. I don't know how you would get the third coin without this one power up. I think you need to jump on, on the Koopa Troopa. Give yourself a ray. But yeah. Come on, faster than that. I'm about to make it. In my third attempt. Excellent. Okay, I got rid of the most problematic levels for sure. Yeah, I still need to survive here. And I still have 99 lives, even if I lost three times. Well, I guess I recovered everything by grabbing money. Halfway through? Yeah. Spinning Platforms of Doom. Okay, this is um, Haunted Forest using this fancy background. I really liked it. And it's a it, it is an extremely short level too. It's all about getting the three coins and survive the Spinning Platforms of Doom, whatever. A couple times. Yeah, there is a couple of tricky jumps actually. This one. Oh my god. It's either you get hit or you fucking die, but... Oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, but that's fine. 
It's all good. This one is not that, as bad. And I haven't even needed to play this bonus game in order to get the items... The power-ups from the previous game. Same thing, no problem. Make a good jump here, please. There we go. Oh my god, what the fuck? I get nervous in very easy jumps. Not following the money, of course. It's very tempting and everything, but... Oh yeah, I remember, I used to forget where the last coin is. So I'll make sure to remember this time. Is it down here? No, I don't think so. It was down here. <laughs> Shit, that was close too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you need to stay down here. I don't think this is the best power-up. No, definitely it's not. The best power-up to fuck around in there. So I guess I will get a hit on purpose in order to wall jump from one side to another in that part. I always get a hit there. Should I get a hit on purpose? Yeah, I will. I will. Sure, I will. Yeah, it will be way easier doing this and stuff. There's still one more spinning platform part after this, at the very end, basically. Which, again, reaffirms what I say about levels being extremely short. Yeah, this platform is a pain in the ass. Could I constantly jump? Can I make it from here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Can suffer less. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna go get some more juice, so wait for me a couple of minutes, or actually one minute, and I'll be back, quickly. Okay, back to business. So, three more levels, and I know at least one or two of them are very easy, in general. What's this one? Okay, this one. Firebar Cliffs. It's not too bad. 
Yeah, the big issue here is that these fire sticks or fire bars are fucking huge. Also an extra life, I think. Yeah, in some areas you will need to duck over a donut. That was kind of weird, I don't know. You can get another power up here. Getting to that side is complicated, but getting back to the pipe is way easier. As you can see here, no need to stop. Now the second part. I don't know why they do that. Okay, a vertical part. I was wondering what's the difference? There's not even a checkpoint to differentiate from one room from another. But yeah, there is a way to differentiate that. It's the first time I can make it through this part without taking a hit. Well, and now I take it here instead. <laughs> Last coin is over here. And of course, in order to get the last coin, you have to survive. Fire bars. All of that for the sake of the monies. That was close. That was a safe spot, I believe. Right, I'm waiting for the two enemies. Actually, I can do it right now if I want. <laughs> Fuck. That was close. I think this is the last part. One of the last parts. Yeah, I usually get small at the very end, which isn't good, because I get nervous. But yeah, that was the very last part, I kind of knew that. Nah, I'm not gonna waste my time going to the donuts. <laughs> Just need 11 more coins to get the 99 again. Okay. I believe the next level is the one that could be a little bit annoying. Not for the level itself, the difficulty of the level itself, but it's because you need... Well, you, you can tell by the name of the level, Lucky 2, Lucky 2, Lucky 2, that this level is about Lucky 2s and you need one of the clouds at the end in order to win. So I will try to break that by using this P acorn to see if it is enough and not depend on killing lucky twos the thing is there would be three lucky twos at the same time afterwards Actually, I think a better power for this place would be the helicopter thing. Because it goes even higher and it would allow you to kill the, the three Lakitus. Okay, that was actually convenient. I could have... Yeah, actually, I do need to get the cloud. So it was a bad idea to leave it behind. Go and get it. So see if I can get it faster before the cloud goes away. I mean, that was useful basically to kill the Lucky 2. So yeah, did it first try. Gonna end up finishing this way faster than what I would have expected because I got rid of the difficult levels immediately. One more secret level to go. I think it's a castle. Pendulum castle. Yeah, it wasn't a hard one. But I think the fire flower, sorry, the ice flower would do a better job here. Basically because of these enemies. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh my god, yeah. I didn't have enough speed to run through the the empty space. Do I need a power breath here anymore? I don't think so. If I had a Martian, probably I would have used it. Oh, what? I thought I was going to have enough time to run and survive. Oh, Can I duck? <laughs> even more. There is no even need to duck in there. That should have been a power, right? I don't know. Let's keep running. Okay. Second coin is over here. There is a star, that item on the other side. Close. Oh my god, I was almost running into those things. That's a power up. But I cannot get a jump like this. I need a regular jump, which is higher. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I was I was too worried about getting the enemy instead of watching the floor. I was close, I would say. Okay. Can actually get the coin? Oh my god, that was really a bad idea. That was a terrible idea, trying to get the coin before getting the, the star. And I did that basically because of the time, to save time. Again, that was a dumb idea. I regret. Oh god. Yeah, a little bit of time. Yeah, all the lives that I didn't lose in the difficult levels, I'm losing them here. Yeah. 
I need to run. I'm not doing it. There we go. Yeah, these donuts fall a little bit fast. A little bit too fast for my taste. In the old games, they took a little bit longer to fall. Yeah, what I hate about this part is basically the time you waste. Not, not doing that again. Not making the same stupid mistake. Okay, let's see if I can make it last. Before I can survive long enough. I was a little close. Ninety-five. I lost a bunch. Okay. So since I got everything here, I should be unlocking the very last level. Okay, do I need a power up here? I don't think so. Let's go. Yeah, this is following shell bullshit. I might end up playing this level twice. Okay. That wasn't a good idea. I think I'm gonna end up replaying this. Yeah, I cannot go back, I think. If I had a power up, it would be easier. So I'm committing suicide. Yeah. 
Hey, that was a good idea. Was it? I'm not sure anymore. Oh yeah, it got divine for me. Perfect. I'm getting the three of them. Okay. That was a really good idea. What item do you want me to get at this point? I mean, I already beat the game, everything, so I don't need items anymore. Yeah, I said it was going to take one hour, it took 40 minutes. I saved... Good amount of time. I've collected all star coins and I got everything, so... Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the playthrough then. I was expecting to do two, two more streams on this, but only one of them was enough. So, yeah, this is gonna be uploading on the YouTube channel, Chilean Ruto Gamer. Not today, probably in, in a few more days from now. So you can watch the entire thing in case you missed it. Um, yeah, I will be back soon enough with episode 8 of Non-Serious Gaming finally starting another game. Or games. Could be more than one. So thanks for watching. See you around.